What's up everybody, Fatty Matty here, and I am bringing to you a brand new unboxing video. Today we are taking a look at the Corsair Virtuoso RGB wireless SE headset. Now this has been out for quite a while, I understand that, but for me it's new, it's new on the channel. Um, so this is compatible with uh, PC and PlayStation 4, I know it's not the greatest mic and or camera setup here. Um, but it is a high fidelity gaming headset with 7.1 surround sound. Um, it's got for connections. Let me get that turned here. So it's 3.5 millimeter or USB type A to PC, 3.5 millimeter or USB type C on headset. Um, it's got a 60 foot range. It's up to 20 hours, supposedly on the battery life. 50 millimeter drivers, 20 hertz to 40,000 kilohertz. 32 ohms at 2.5 kilohertz. It's 109 dB plus or minus 3 dB sensitivity. The microphone is omnidirectional. It's a broadcast broadcast grade, 100 hertz to 10 kilohertz. 2.2 K ohms and negative 42 dB plus or minus 2 dB. So in the box you get the headset. Uh, looks like a dongle couple cords, um, USB-C and 3.5, a book, and a starter guide probably. Um, that's it basically for the box. I mean, it's not super cool, but that's the back of the box. Um, now this headset, it's got some weight to it. It does feel really good in your hands. That's the top. Um, the cool thing about these or about what Corsair does with their packaging. They make them super easy to open. You just take it and on one. There's the other one. And from now, we can just slide it out. Okay, so this is the back of the box. Corsair, do your thing. Um, I'm a huge Corsair person. I have um, a Corsair K63, a wireless K63, and I have the um, Dark Core um, SE wireless gaming mouse from them as well. I've been using both those for quite a while, so I kind of like stick with Corsair products just because they do make a good product. Um, and I like wireless stuff. So right on top, you got the box. Um, this part, this is actually foam in here, so that's kind of nice. Here is the headset itself. So it's got some little covers for it getting it off camera as I'm trying to do this on com camera completely um, so this is supposedly supposedly a RGB um, headset it supposedly lights up on the sides so the nice thing from this is it does fold up like that so you can hang it up against the wall really nice and it'll be nice and flush you don't have to worry about it. Um, looking at the bottom here, looks like you have a volume knob, which it doesn't click or anything like that. But, and I don't think it actually stops. It just looks like it keeps indefinitely turning both directions. So that's kind of odd. Um, and then it has a selector here. Let me see if I can get that to focus. I had it for a second. Come on, camera. Okay, kind of there, sort of. Focus, you. Webcams suck, by the way, guys. There it is. So you can see um, one side is wired mode, one side's wireless. On the opposite side, before we lose focus, you have. I'm not actually sure what connection that is there. That's not a USB-C. 
um, but you have a 3.5 right there as well as your USB type C connector right there um, the ear cups look pretty nice and big so that's nice oh those are pretty resistant actually they they don't turn very easy and it looks like they go either way so however you want to do it um, see is there okay so volume knob is going to be on the right hand side as you look at it and on and wear it cool thing about this I noticed in store is you have numbers here so you can actually see what um, where it's at and you don't have to guess and you can just be like oh I wear mine at four on both sides and there it is right this feels pretty good um, it's definitely like a pleathery it's not leather um, same with the ear cups and they seem pretty deep um, hopefully my ears fit in there okay I don't know for sure but this I feel like there could be a little bit more padding on there I'm just gonna throw it on um, it's actually it feels pretty good on your your head here so um, it is you know it's a closed back it's not open or anything so you don't have to worry about that um, I feel like it could have a little bit more clamping force so that it closes off a little bit, but I might not hear anything. Um, it does a pretty good uh, noise isolation as it is already. Um, I can definitely tell a difference in you know how much I can hear versus how much I can't with it on. So that's the headset. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll turn it on here in a bit. And it might be a split in the video, but um, these these turn really they're they're stiff. They're not floppy. They're not gonna flop around on you when you're moving it. They're gonna stay where you put them. Um, I mean, and then this this is nice and clicky. It's you know got a really good feel to it. The headband feels good. Doesn't feel like it's gonna break. So I bought these with my own money. If they break, then I'm hosed. But so that's the headset. The rest of the stuff in the box, we have silicon gel. We don't really care about that. Throw that over there. Uh, looks like they give you a carry pouch, which is magnetic. So this is a little bit magnetic. You can see it won't just flop open. Really, it kind of does, but pretty big pouch too, guys. So that's a big headset, though. So that's kind of nice that they give you that. They also give you, of course, all of the stuff you need for it to work. So in here, manuals, probably a manual, a quick start, warranty, all that stuff that most people don't really look at. Um, as for your cables. There's one. There is the wireless dongle. There's the, oh, that's the mic. So the one that I was like, I don't know what that is. That's the mic. The mic attaches to the one side. I forgot it had a detachable mic. And then you have a 3.5. Is there anything under there? Nope. So. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this stuff here. Um, really nice braided cable. It is USB-C, which is nice. USB-C is like the best thing to have anymore. Um, the dongle's pretty good size. I'm actually surprised at how big that is compared to their keyboard dongle. Um, that's the comparison there, I mean. That's a pretty good size, so it will stick out a little bit. But, you know, it is 
there. Uh, and again, a nice braided cable. It's a um, four pole, obviously, because you got a mic, so you need that. Um, so you can use it either way. And then the actual mic itself has a pretty nice bendy boom. We'll go ahead and get the headset over here. And get it hooked up in there. So you can see there, we have the um, microphone on the headset itself. Okay. And then um, I also noticed on the headset, there is a mute button right here. So you can push the mute. That's kind of nice that it's right there. Um, and then this is going to just, you know, going to be able to maneuver it right where you need it to be nice and close. Um, and then if you need to mute it, it's just bam right there. So that's really nice. I will include an audio test with it as well as what it looks like um, lit up and all that. Um, but for now, um, that's going to be this portion of the video, guys. Um, like I said, I will have a mic test uh, included in the video so that you guys can hear it. I'll have it. I'll be wearing it with a little bit different setup on the cam here. Um, but you can see me wearing the headset and what it looks like that way. But there you have it that is everything included in the box so a nice little uh, it would be nice if that would have sat up there but there it is guys um like i said that'll be it for this portion of the video and uh we'll have the mic comparison here and then that'll be it hey everybody so i'm back with the uh corsair virtuoso headset here um this is the rgb wireless version so right now i am not using the microphone on it i'm just using my my usb mic that i have set up here um and i'm gonna switch audio here in just a second and let you guys hear what the difference is between the two. I haven't, all I've heard is through the monitoring of the software, the IQ software from Corsair. So I won't know what the actual playback is until I get these two videos um, merged together. So we're gonna switch over to the audio right about now. Okay, so now I am using the audio from the wireless microphone. Um, as you can see from the way the color is, the mic is on um, right now. If I push the mute button, so you probably didn't hear what I was saying right there, right? That's because I muted it. Um, if you notice, the mic turned red. I'll show you guys. So it turns red when the mic is muted, but in the headset itself, when you push the button, it tells you mic on, mic off. So that um, if you forget, you can look down because it's right there in your face. You can look down and you can see, oh crap, my mic is muted. You know, so that's really good. Um, this microphone boom arm, you can move it pretty dang close, however you want. You know, you can see if I go to that hole, you obviously you don't need a mic to right here because you can't hear me out there, right? So there's a little hole here you can talk to. Um, pretty easy to just line up, get it where you want it, right? So about right there-ish. Now then, we're going to switch over, and I'm going to go to a different screen here in just a little bit. So right about... Okay. So you can see I am on the software here um, there is a mic volume slider here so you can turn the volume up if you're not um, getting enough volume out of it that's through the software right um, so I can turn it down this is on the very lowest setting 
This is on the very highest setting. It doesn't look like it's going to peak unless I scream at you guys. Um, so peak, peak, peak. Pretty good. About, well, let's say about halfway. That's halfway. So it's not peaking on the input. Um, it also has a side tone so you can hear yourself in the mic so you know how loud you're being. Peak, peak, you know. Um, so that's good. It also has a USB um, on the side, or not USB, um, it has RGB on the sides of the headset. Uh, and you can control that through the software again. Turn it on, turn it up higher, slower, faster. You can select the different presets. They have rainbow, color, pulse. Um, you can salute, you know, random colors. Again, the speed alternating between two different colors. Color shifting again, same thing, random colors. Um, static color if you wanted. Um, I usually set mine to red because my whole PC setup is red basically. And I, I usually just go in and say zero and 255 because that's the end of the color spectrum. And then bam, now I'm going to have a red LED on my headset. So if I switch back over to um, the other cam here and I get rid of not that one I get rid of this one there we go I'll show you so I'm gonna go ahead and turn back on my mic so that was two of them you probably had an echo there for a sec um, and I'm going to go up here and you can say I want rainbow colors and you can see it's going to change colors. It's really reflective. Sorry because of the lighting in here. Um, so it'll do that. There's your pulse. Uh, you can make it faster. I'm trying to get it so you guys can see without blinding me or you. Color pulse, color shift. All right, static. I don't know what solid is, um, and then gradient, so it'll kind of go in and out. That doesn't really matter to most people unless you got, you know, people on the sides of you. Um, as far as the fit, I feel like it, it still could be a little bit tighter. Um, maybe it's no. It doesn't really seem like it's a glasses thing. Um, it just it doesn't have very much clamping force, and um, I have a pretty small head and I like mine to be really tight on my head and these just don't have that. Um, the other things you can do in the software is we go to the dashboard here. Um, turn that off. Not working. I broke my dashboard. I can actually hear my kids in the background with this mic so it does pick up some background noise. Um, you have an EQ here. So you can change between movie, FPS comp competition, clear chat, uh, bass boost for the audio of it, as well as um, whether you want surround sound on or off. Um, as far as like the volume knob, I feel like that could have some work. It's pretty stiff to move the volume up and down on the um, actual headset itself. It's just kind of it kind of grinds in places you can hear it as you're turning it it kind of reaches a point where it like it hits the headset and you can hear it when i'm turning it i don't know if you can hear it. maybe you can hear it um but yeah so there's that and you can like if you want this you can just make a copy and then from there you click on your copy of the preset and you can change any setting that you want on the EQ. And then if you like, oh man, I screwed that, just delete it. So that's nice. Um, some of the other things you can do if you go to settings is you can turn up the brightness on the LEDs if you want. I typically don't have my brightness set very high usually because of battery life. Obviously the higher you have it, the more you're going to use battery. Uh, you can turn on the battery gauge at the bottom of the system tray so you can see um you know right now my k63 is low the virtuoso is high and so is my dark core um and then you know you can update the firmware 
disable the LED when the microphone is active, um, that type of stuff. So it'll show you all that. So that's really cool. Um, and then, you know, it does have 7.1 surround sound. Uh, I don't know how good that'll work, but I don't know if you can change it without going into the IQ software because I don't, there's no buttons on it that I know of. I know I didn't read the manual yet, but that's just me. Um, so yeah, that's the audio. Again, I'll switch over here real quick. That's the audio. This is the audio off of the Virtuoso headset. This is the KinCam microphone, USB microphone. This is the Virtuoso headset again. So um, I'm going to wrap it up with the ending of this. You know, we're going to end on the actual microphone audio just because. So again, there's the headset, guys. It does. It's pretty cool. I don't know um, if it'll be something that I end up using. It's really light. I feel like I could wear it all day and not get fatigued. Like I said, I do wish it had more clamping force, though. Because it doesn't, I can hear quite a bit of background noise. I know I don't like that. Um, and also, it gets pretty loud. I'll say that it gets it gets loud enough, but I just don't know if there's enough bass. Um, it doesn't have a lot of bass. So that's going to be the end of this video, guys. So this is an unboxing, first impression video of the wireless Virtuoso headset from Corsair. Um, if you guys like this video, be sure to hit the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.